Okay, so I just uh, duplicated my file to work on another version. And first I'm going to keep my occlusion shadow and delete the group of light I did for the sunny version that I don't need anymore, as well as the details. And I can delete the sketch as well. I start by creating a new layer on top. And as I want to make a nighttime atmosphere, I choose a dark blue color, a little bit purple. I fill my canvas and I set my layer in multiply mode. Now I switch off the light. I think the sky in the background is a little bit too light, so I adjust the brightness and I do the same for the bush. To bring light in the scene, I would like to create something a little bit magic and I choose the light source will be the dragon. So I select the shape of the dragon and I clear this area in my ambient color layer. So he's not affected by the shadow anymore. I need to feel that he's glowing and spreads light. So I select his shape again and on the new layer on top, I fill the shape with the pink color similar to his skin. I choose a very vivid pink to have a nice vibrant glow. And then I add a cushion burr set to 40 and I set the layer in addition mode. Because of the effect of the blending mode, I feel like his scales are not as much visible. So I decide to come back on the dragon's local colors and I select the shapes of his scales. Then on a the new layer on top of everything with a vibrant red, I work on his scales and I set the layer in addition mode. I use a soft brush to paint the scales. To erase the excess of light, I select the dragon's shape, I tap invert, I come back on the layer I was working on and I tap clear. I group these two light layers since they belong to the dragon only, which is my light source. Now I create a new layer on top and with the bright pink again, I'm going to create the light impact. First, with the big soft brush, I create the light that propagates around the dragon. So on the table and on the bag. And then I set the layer in addition mode. I make sure to erase the areas where the light doesn't really reach, so on the strap and under the bag. I also accentuate the cast shadow of the cookie pieces, since they are really close to the light source, and then I play a little bit with the opacity. Now I'm going to light up the girl, so I select her shape and on a new layer with the big soft brush and the pink color, I paint from the dragon towards the girl. I make sure this impact is more intense near the table where the dragon is and fades away as it moves away from him. I set the layer in addition mode as well. Her face needs to receive more light at the bottom, so I focus only on this area by using the selection tool. And with the soft brush again, I intensify the light in this area. Also a little bit below the brow bone and then a little bit more on the sleeve and on the hands. Always keeping in mind where the light comes from. When I'm satisfied with this first light impact, I create a layer mask and I'm going to erase the different areas where light encounters obstacles and then create a shadow. So on the necklace, inside the collar, near the cookies, under the sleeves, under the hand on the table, the nostrils, also on the upper part of the nose, above the cheeks, inside the mouth, 
These are all areas that don't face the light. To reinforce the light, we are going to create highlights. I like to create a new layer, set in addition mode, to have more control, but you totally can do this on the layer we have just worked on. And with the same color, I'm going to select the areas facing the light that I want to pop out. Under the nose, above the eyelids, the earrings, a little bit more under her chin, I define the sleeve more, and then the hands, as well as the cookies. Then I come back to adjust a little bit more by erasing some areas where I want the shadow to be more contrasting. We have the main light impact on the characters, but I want to detach the girl more, so I decide to create a secondary light source with a blue color. As it's a nice scene, it could be the moon. So I set the layer in overlay. I make sure it's not too intense because it's the second light source. And I start by painting on the left side of the character. It's the opposite side of the main light source, so I can well detach the character from the background. I also add a little bit more detail on her hair. After that, I create the reflection on the eyes, the effect I love so much with a bright pink because it reflects the pink light of the dragon bouncing on the table. I set the layer in hard light and then I lower the opacity. I create a specular reflection and on the layer set in overlay, I bring some light on the iris. It's mostly finished now, but I often take time to observe and analyze my drawing and I come back on the layers where I want to make some final adjustments, adding some shadows, some highlight that I forgot, maybe adjusting the opacity of some layers. It's a part not really informative now where I can spend a lot of time <laughs> just keeping detailing. And voila, we have a night magic scene now. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the next lesson, we are going to see how light works in an overcast day.